Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. In this video I have prepared for you test results of this Maxun B760 ITX motherboard. The motherboard comes in this kind of box and on my secondary channel you can find unboxing of this motherboard. So, what can I say about the motherboard itself? Well, to be honest, while testing this motherboard I would sometimes even forget that I bought it on AliExpress. Maxun B760 ITX is significantly better than your average no-name offer from AliExpress. Yes, there are still some quirks and limitations which would remind you that this is not a fully branded motherboard like Asus or Gigabyte, but overall the experience was very pleasant. The motherboard came well packed, there are no major defects, sleep mode works, resizable bar available in the BIOS, XMP works, RAM timings are available, then restore and power loss also works, and basically you get everything you would expect from a consumer motherboard. On top of that, Maxun finally implemented a feature for BIOS update using BIOS UI. All you have to do is to download the BIOS from their website, put it on a USB flash drive and then pick the file from your USB flash drive using BIOS UI and the update will just do the job for you. We also have an ARGB header and this header supports a different kind of lighting modes from the BIOS. In addition, we have a Maxun software to control the lights from a Windows. The installer is junky and available only in Chinese, but it's better than nothing. So, as you can see, this is a significantly better motherboard than some no-name machinist or Huanangzhi. From the annoying limitations, I can mention that the smartphone function works only with the 3-pin PWM fans. For whatever reason, Chinese would just not install voltage regulation modules onto the motherboard to control 3-pin fans. On the other side, we have 3 4-pin fan headers and all three can be individually controlled from the BIOS to adjust the fan speed. All in all, the motherboard is very well packed with connectivity for each size. PC Express X16 5.0, two M.2 slots for PC Express 4.0 X4 SSDs, M.2 slot for Wi-Fi adapters, four SATA ports, then we also have USB Type-C header for the front panel, and the rear I.O. is not that bad. The network configuration is also interesting. We have two Ethernet adapters, 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet from Realtek and 1 Gigabit Ethernet from Intel. So, in terms of connectivity, if we forget about reliability, then this Maxun B760 ITX motherboard could even be considered for a home NAS or a home mini server. With LJ1700 you have a wide range of different CPUs, from low power to dual cores, to highly performant core i5, i7 and i9. With this I also need to say a few notes about the VRAM. The VRAM here I could not say if it's good or bad in terms of specs, the specification you will see on your screen, but I have stress tested it with the Core i5-14600K running Cinebench R23 and running ADA64. The VRAM did not heat up for more than 80 degrees Celsius, and 80 degrees Celsius is the judgment from the VRAM temperature sensor reported in HW monitor. With my external thermometer measuring on top and at the bottom of the motherboard, I could not register any temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius. All in all, Maxun B760 ITX is a very decent motherboard and probably one of the best I have ever tested from AliExpress. Still, I have done my complete test suit and all the detailed test results are available in my slides. If you want to see every last bit of my test, just put the video on pause and look at the slides. So, for those who do not watch my videos but rather listen in their headset, I still decided to do voiceover the slides. Starting with the specification, Maxun B760 ITX comes with the DDR5 memory support and out of the box it works with Intel 12th, 13th and 14th gen CPUs. It still means that you need to update the BIOS to the latest version, but you will be able to do that with basically any CPU available on the LJ1700 platform. At the rear I.O. we have 4 USB 2 and 2 USB 3. For the front panel we have 2 USB 3, 2 USB 2 and 1 USB Type-C. Then we have 4 SATA 3 ports, PCI Express 5.0 x16 slot, 
Two M.2 slots for PCI Express SSDs, both are PCI Express 4.0, one at the front, one at the rear. In addition, we have an M.2 Wi-Fi slot that works with the PCI Express and CNVI Wi-Fi modules. Two network adapters on the motherboard are Intel i219V 1 gigabit Ethernet and Realtek RTL 8125 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. Audio codec on the motherboard is ALC897. VRM on the motherboard uses triple channel PWM controller for mobile CPUs. I have no idea if it's good or bad, I'm not a VRM expert, but I can say for sure that it works with Core i5 14600K with no issues. For the extras, we have one ARGB header and three 4-pin PWM fan headers. Moving to the test results, USB and SATA ports work with no issues, smart fan works for all three individually controlled headers, but only for 4-pin PWM fans. PCI Express X16 slot works just fine, but I was able to test only PCI Express 4.0 graphics card. M.2 slots for SSDs, both are PCI Express 4.0. The top slot is connected to the CPU, the rear one is connected to the chipset. Both of the slots do not support SATA SSDs. M.2 Wi-Fi slot works just fine. I have tested Intel AC 9560 CNVI adapter and Intel AC 9260 PCI adapter. Both worked no, with no issues. And both of the network adapters work. Realtek adapter works out of the box with the fresh Windows installation. For Intel Gigabit Ethernet adapter, you would have to manually install drivers. 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet speed with the Realtek adapter was achieved under my testing. BIOS on Maxun B760 ITX can be easily flushed using their utility called EZ Update. It is a BIOS UI feature, you just download BIOS on your flash drive, then select the file from the BIOS and it will do the update for you. Just make sure that you do not power off or reset your computer during the flushing procedure. VRM I have tested with my i5-14600K using ADA64 stress test as well as Cinebench R23. In both cases the power consumption was uh, from the wall somewhere around 230 watts and the VRM heated up to 80 degrees Celsius according to the temperature sensors on the motherboard. With my external thermometer measuring on top and at the bottom of the motherboard, I did not find a single spot where I could reach with my laser to measure more than 50 degrees Celsius. At the same time, Core i5-14600K scored almost the desired score in Cinebench R23. I have got almost 2100 points with a single core and almost 23500 points with all CPU cores. According to Tech Power Up, they have received identical single-threaded CPU score, but with all the CPU cores utilized, they have slightly higher CPU score of 2400. Moving to the features, sleep mode works, RAM timings are available, and XMP profiles are supported. I have two sticks DDR5 6032GB each, and they worked with the XMP profile enabled. Unfortunately, I was not able to boot at DDR5 6000 Gear 1. Resizable bar works, PCI Express buffication unfortunately is not available. Clear CMOS works, restore and power loss works, disabling E cores in the BIOS also works, and RAM voltage can be adjusted to basically the whole DDR5 voltage range. ARGB header has multiple different illumination modes that can be selected in the BIOS, but OpenRGB software does not detect any RGB devices. Maxun RGB software is kind of awk, but nothing more. It comes with a Chinese installer, but once it's installed, you have English interface. For the extra notes, I can say that the CPU power consumption sensor works, which is not always the case with the Chinese motherboards. For the conclusion, I can say that my score for the motherboard would be 7 out of 10. Unfortunately, the price is killing the offer. When I bought the motherboard, it was discounted and I got it for about 150 euros, and that was about 30 euros cheaper than anything else I could find locally. Right now the AliExpress prices went up and the local prices went down, so on AliExpress right now they want 160-170 euros, and uh, locally I can find something for 175-180 euros with a similar specification but from a branded option with a local warranty. Thus, it all depends on availability and pricing. 
If it's just 5 to 10 euros cheaper than a local offer from ASUS or Gigabyte, then I see no reason bothering with AliExpress. After all, AliExpress is a lottery, my motherboard works, it works great, but yours might not work. And I also have no idea how long this motherboard is gonna last. If it works today, it doesn't mean it's gonna work tomorrow, and if it doesn't work tomorrow, I have absolutely no warranty or possibility to get any support or help from the seller. With this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope to see you in the next video, bye bye.